For, she's doing a virtual tryout today. Hopefully a fast one. Well, it's called the Imperial Bowl. It's a double black diamond. And that's we cool. didn't know it was a double black diamond yes, <laughs> when we did it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I dropped my poles up here. Hire me? Yeah. Well, it's not a job application. <laughs> this is what you come to Breck for. Let's go. Good morning, everybody from Breckenridge, Colorado. The ski capital of the world. We just, uh, we called it that. I'm not sure it's really called that, but I mean, I'm, I mean, probably. yeah. So like, today, you know, we can, it, it could, it could make a statement for it. I okay. Mean, we can, we can make a run for the ski capital of the world. Certainly. We are here on day, this is day three of our, our trip, day two of skiing. Cause we took pretty much all day of day one to travel here with flight delays and that kind of junk. You can see the video if you look right here. And Ryan and I shredded the mountain yesterday. I mean, totally shredded. It was freezing cold, by the way. Today is going to be not as cold, but a little bit windier. So we're hoping to make it to the tippy top. And yesterday we tried that, but we um, got as close as we could. And, and unfortunately, the lift, the lift which is the highest lift in North America. Yes. Here at Breckenridge. Uh, it was close. It was close because of so the windy. So we're trying to get out early so we can go because the wind is supposed to start around 10. So we want to try to get up there as soon as we can this morning to make sure that we can at least do that. I mean, when we're here, we got to do that, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So this is our room. You can hear the dishwasher is running right now. We made some eggs this morning for breakfast. We've got our little office set up over here. Our puzzle. We bought a Breckenridge puzzle that's here. Katie and Mike are at home. Katie has a big, big day today. You're probably, hopefully she's vlogging, you'll see, that she um, has her, she's doing a virtual tryout today for a Florida State cheer. So she just gave us a little hint of what she's doing and she's doing the fight song. So Ryan and I keep singing in our heads over and over the fight song. Fight, fight, fight. For FSU, you gotta scalp them, Seminoles. Gotta win, win, win. So we'll be singing that probably while we go down the slopes today. So anyway, stay tuned to find out what's going to happen. We're very much looking forward to this day. It is not sunny again. Um, it's very cloudy and overcast, which is a bummer. It would have been nice if it was a sunny bluebird day at Brackenridge, but that's okay. We're still going to go. Have a great time skiing. Uh -huh. All right. I can't wait. Me too. Day two. That's why I need to be able to do it on the phone. <laughs> hey. Hey. Very special day. Today's a big day. How you doing? I'm doing. I'm doing. Do you feel prepared? Nope. <laughs> Just kidding. Of course I'm prepared. Alright. Now what's the plan? Well, I'm trying to figure out how to do my hair. Uh-huh. And I can't do it with this window open. <laughs> But I just sprayed hairspray like directly into my mouth. <laughs> so I had to open the window so it would blow it all, all away. Things not going well so far for Kate. Yeah, it's not because I don't do my hair often, you know? Right. Because it's got the natural little wave to it, so I just get out of the shower and let it do its thing. Yeah. So I'm not, um, not well, what's that word? Well burst. Well versed, that's the word I'm looking for. I'm not well versed in doing my own hair. Yeah. So that's why I have mom do it. Oh. But mom decided to be selfish <laughs> and go skiing in Colorado. <laughs> Just kidding, I hope she's having a fantastic time. But like, so now what do I, like, what am I supposed to do? Right. Like okay. I'm trying here. What time is your gig? Uh, 11. 11 o'clock? Mm-hmm. Good luck. Um, do you want the little tripod? You should take it with you just in case. Okay, Where I is will. it? Do you know where, what happened to it? I like feeling my hair on my shoulders. It's really soft. Uh-huh. Did you decide what you're going to say? Hi, I'm Katie Donnelly. Yeah, that's something we should discuss. Yes. Hi, I'm Kate. Hi, I'm Kate Donnelly. No, I think you should go with Kate. Hi, I'm Katie Donnelly. I'm from Maryland, and I'm... What? And I'm, and I'm trying out for Florida State cheerleading. They know I'm trying out, Dad. What? Do you have a comb? Do you have a comb? It's just that... You have a comb, right? You comb your hair. No. Can I use it? I'm not gonna... All right, you guys, it's a much clearer day today, much warmer. We're just waiting for the wind to pick up, which I'm sure it's going to happen. I say much warmer. It's like 17 degrees as opposed to yesterday's a balmy, a balmy 17. All right, I got to put this away because my, um, yes, my hands are cold. Okay, bye.
All right, this is what we see at the top of the mountain. We are about 11,000 feet up. It looks like that is the edge and you're gonna drop off the rest of the world. Way over there behind that little house, there's supposed to be a lift that's supposed to take us all the way up there. We just got off the T-bar behind us, but you can't even see the lift. So I'll be surprised if it's running, but this is what it looks like right now, where I stand. Like, are we in heaven? They're very windy. Look at that's uh -oh. looking down the mountain. You cannot see a thing. That's looking up the mountain. Also can't see a thing. We're trying to go to that. All right, let me turn around. We're trying to go to that lift over there. It's not running. It's not running. This is our okay, you guys. This is our second attempt to take the Imperial lift all the way up to the top of the mountain. It's the highest lift, highest lift in North America. So yesterday we tried and it was too windy. And today. It's also closed, too windy. So we'll, we'll check in this. That's the, the conditions are not supposed to be getting any better though. It's supposed to be getting windier. But the good news is, the icing on the cake is that we got seven inches of snow last night. So we are skiing on fresh powder, which is ridiculous in April. But also, feel, hear that wind? The wind is just supposed to pick up today. So anyway, we're gonna make the best of it. It's amazing skiing. We'll probably stay closer to the bottom of the hill where there's less wind. Um, well, but yeah, well, because there's no, a lot of lifts are going to be close to Right, a lot of lifts up at the top of the mountain are going to be close. This is too far up. And, um, whoa, I think we're at 11,000 feet up here. Okay. What are you guys doing for spring break? <laughs> this is the Imperial, and it is not running. Boo. It's, it's so funny, because... You can't even see the top right now. So you see like three sets of chairs or it just disappears. Yeah, and then it goes away into the fog, into the into the nether world. <laughs> okay, we are gonna try to put the GoPro on top of Ryan's head, but we have it on the pole now and the metal we think made it too cool. Like whatever happened, we can't unscrew it. So we're just gonna not get any film of this run, but just trust us that we're going down, actually some black diamonds down here. Upper four o'clock. We made our best efforts twice now to get up there. We'll be back, Breck, we'll be back. Okay, the wind picked up a little bit. Oh my gosh. I kind of understand why, I, why it isn't open. <laughs> I, I would be pooping my <laughs> if I was up on I'm glad we're not on it. Oh my gosh, all right, I gotta go. My hand is frozen. <laughs> Okay, hopefully you can hear me. We said we weren't gonna film any of this run, but there's so much powder, it's like, it's crazy and we had to. So look, here's our trail so far. Look at the powder that we're in. There's mom. Crazy. Did you see up the hill? Like look, there's hardly any trail. No, nothing. And there's nobody here. Yeah, this is unreal. It is unreal. Unreal. Guys, Brack in April, book it. Unless it says it's windy, then don't. Okay. Uh, do you want me to ski with it or you want to ski with it? I'll, I'll ski with it for a little. Okay, uh, this, is, this is the thing. Skiing in this thick snow is difficult. Like, yeah, like it's I fell. hard to control your skis. Right. Yeah. So, okay. we're going to see what's happening. All right, okay. ready?
We're gonna go down PK. We'll see you in a little. Oh, there's a Okay, so we just went down uh, upper four o'clock and then four o'clock and I just <laughs> Mom's phone came out of her pocket and it's just dangling. She didn't even notice. She didn't even notice. So I see her coming down and I'm like, what's that dangling? It's just her phone. I wonder how long I was skiing like that. I know. Like how many people looked at you and was like, what? Oh, no. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so fun. Oh my gosh, it's frozen. It's like frozen off. Oh my gosh. What? Holy cow. <laughs> Okay. Okay, well. So, um, okay, we're gonna head down to the base of Peak 8 via a run called Freestyle. We did it yesterday and it's one of my absolute favorites already. So, uh, it's gonna be fun. Let's go. Looks like Daddy O is gonna make an attempt. <laughs> Hopefully, a fast one. Because <laughs> I'm up against the clock. All right, here we go. Hold that. All right. Careful, though. Like this? Careful, I spent a lot of time on this hair. Okay. Like here? Yep, nope, D yep, a little too too much. A little too big. Too uh -oh. <laughs> no. If you just pull it, yeah, okay. a little bit more, a little more Ooh. short. Just a little bit, yeah. Good. Um, All right, let me tighten it up. Yeah, t if you. <laughs> okay. You good? Looking good. Does it look good? Looks fantastic. Sure? I'd hire you. Hire me? Yeah. Well, it's not a job application. <laughs> okay. Now, here's the thing. Look, you just do this, right? So, you have Coach Richards and just... Boom. Dad is, like, adamant about the fact that well, I need to use this. To film you for her. Okay, I'll bring it to her. And I'd like it back, please. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, this... Okay. Okay. All right, you guys, if you've been following along our ski journey, we just saw that the Imperial Lift is now open. So, we're about an hour into our ski day today and no it's about an hour and a half anyway it's open so we decided to jump back on this lift and we're going to go up and try to make our way back up yep. to the top of the world because we were there and it was closed and we just saw the big screen it was open so we're we're heading back we're up heading back so up wish us luck like... this will be attempt number three yep. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen we are at the top of the t-bar this is how you get to the Imperial Express lift. This view is absolutely crazy. The Imperial lift is right down that way. Me and mom are going to go check it out. If it's open, we're going to jump and scream like eight-year-old girls that just got a pony for their birthday. Um, but we're going to ski down now and see what's up. So we'll see. Okay. Holy cow. 
We're here. We're here. Look. Okay. We're on we're on the top of the world. Hold on. Elevation of 12,840 feet. Can you believe it? It's crazy. This is crazy. All right, we're gonna take some pictures and uh, and just take it in. We made it here, the highest lift in North America. Imperial Express elevation, 12,840 feet. I got to film fast because it's really cold up here. Okay, this is the view. It's ridiculous. It's very windy, very cold, but we finally made it. Ryan, smile, one, two, three, ah! There's a lot of powder, let's just say that. Holy cow. This is, listen, I've fallen more than I've ever fall, flown, flo, fallen, fallen on a ski, on a, I've, oh, I've fallen more than I've ever fallen on a ski run before, but this is my, my favorite ski run I've ever done. This is crazy, hold on. First of all, just look at the powder. Oh my gosh. I dropped my poles up here. To go get them um and i was having a good time but i was like i need to film this so mom's up there she wiped out uh, but she's okay i'm gonna get my poles it's still pretty windy up here but holy cow is it worth it all right let's do the rest of the road total thigh burner and uh, I'm away from mom a little bit um but holy cow if you come to Breckers do everything you can to get on the Imperial Lake. this is an experience holy cow See you guys later.
sun is finally out. The snow is gorgeous. This is our last run of the day because the, uh, the mountain closes at four. So we snuck in one last run. We got on the chairlift at 3.54 to sneak in one last run. Here we go, Ryan, straight? Straight, yep. All right, here we go. This has been an amazing two days of skiing. Even more amazing when the sun came out, I don't mind telling you. It's absolutely gorgeous. That is all she wrote. Okay, there's Ryan at the end of the day. He's done. He stepped right out of his skis. Nice skiing, baby. Nice. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching our ski adventure so far. Ryan and I have decided to go to the hot tub today, just the same as we did yesterday, but this time we have robes. We didn't know game that you could changer. call the front desk and get ropes. Mm -hmm. Totally a game changer. And the, oh, we gotta go fill our water. We'll go down here and go back in. Is that yeah. good? And this time we're bringing some water because yesterday when we were here, we were totally thirsty and dehydrated and didn't have any water. Mm -hmm. So we got our waters now. And holy cow, just really quick. Oh my okay. gosh! All right, this is, we never saw this yesterday because it was just so crazy. But from a hotel, look at this. Okay, look at that view. I mean, there's the mountain right there. So it's that's so the, that's the T-bar. Hold on. Pretty. Let me look at what we're looking at. Is that Peak you 8? You should. That might be Peak. Yeah, well, we're at Peak. Wait, do, do we live on Peak 8 or Peak 9? Peak 9. Can you guys see that? There we go. That's better. I'm and also, at... I wanted to show you guys. I'm going to show you the hot tub pool area. Can you see this? There's a hot tub right through there. And there's a pool right over there. No, that's Peak 10. Peak 10? Yes. That's crazy. Uh, That's yeah, where all the, over there. all the double black diamonds are up on peak 10. Yes, crazy. Speaking of double black diamonds, I'm not sure that we shared with everybody. Right. Okay, so we've pieced together all of the info from today, like all mm -hmm. of the video and stuff from today. One of the things that we didn't share with you is, remember when we made it all the way up to the top of the world on the <laughs> Imperial lift, finally for our third try? And then we skied down to the to like that part that we hadn't skied before, and then we skied the rest down. The part after we got off the Imperial lift to where we had been before, like at the bottom of the lift, first of all, it was treacherous. It was- Yeah, there's a lot of powder. Uh, the powder was really thick. It was like thick. a foot of powder and it was really windy. And it was straight down. And it was like straight down, so it made it really hard to turn. I um, fell twice, like, 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 right. boom, like my keys, my, my ski caught and I went flying through the air and landed yeah. on my belly. Like I, it took a long time. Yeah. But, uh, so that whole, it's called the Imperial Bowl and it's a double black diamond. That's we didn't know it was a double black diamond yes, when we did it. Both <laughs> of our first double black diamonds. And probably my last, unless I make a mistake and end up somewhere where I'm not supposed to be because I, yeah, I, it yeah. was a lot of self-talk. It was a lot of, you know, I've run two marathons. <laughs> I've, I've given birth three times. Really? Like I can do this. I can do that. Like, like literally. And yeah. my, my legs were shaking. I'm not kidding. I was having more fun with that. Yeah, right. I definitely had more fun. I, like, I, I went and I fell a few times, but it's you fall on a foot of powder. It's just squishy and fluffy. Right. Um, but then you I, roll because it's straight down. That's what I, I did. <laughs> I don't mean to hype myself up here, but I would have done it again. Yeah, he totally would have done it again. The only it reason we fun. didn't is because I I told him he could go up again, um, but he decided to continue to ski with me. Yeah. But yeah, you could you could totally do that again. Uh -huh. It was it was very cold. Very scary. We counted it, and so we did four blacks on this trip and then our first double black. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> so I think we deserve a little hot tub. A little hot tub. Brian and I are ready to call it a night. I am mm -hmm. so exhausted after all of the skiing yesterday and today. We went to the little market and got some food. Mm -hmm. I still have some ice cream, you don't need that. What made me happy today, I'm gonna share with you. And this is going to be a little bit of a different one. This is not necessarily what made me happy today. This is going to be what freaked me out the most today. And that was going down a double black, black diamond. <laughs> what made me happy about it actually was after that, I, I already told you guys my legs were shaking. It was terrible. After that, we went and got hot chocolate <laughs> and sat in the lodge and just drank hot chocolate because I needed a mental and physical break. My legs were so tired and mentally I was like crazed. And we were texting, we have a family group chat, which is, well, we have a lot of different family group chats. Our big family, but then we have the Donnelly Five, which is just our immediate family. 
And so we were texting about that and people were writing back and forth. And it was very funny and very fun. So that's what made me happy today. Mm-hmm. Was that? Yeah, what made me happy today was just really, when you're up there, you just, you're standing on top of the world. It's, there's no, there's no better feeling than being up there. Honestly, I couldn't feel anything because it was so cold. <laughs> but also, at the same You'd time. You'd imagine if you could, the feeling would be good. The feeling would be great, yeah. <laughs> so, um, just the views we got to see today. It actually got, we thought it was going to be really windy today. It, the sun came out. Um, there was a little bit of wind in the morning, but then it just got totally beautiful. And um, so, yeah. I feel like the last two runs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I think the last two runs made me the most happy today. Yeah, I think I agree with you. When the sun came out, and I was, yeah, uh, it was like, wow, it just gave me a huge burst of energy. It was awesome. Excellent. Ryan, thank you for taking this trip with me. Yeah, oh, yeah. So great. We have a big travel day tomorrow. We travel all the way back tomorrow, planes, trains, and automobiles. (laughs) And then we will be catching up with Brennan at the airport because he's flying home for Easter. So Brennan lands, and then we land, and then Mike's going to pick all of us up together. So I'm so excited to see him. All right, I'm going to take you guys out. Ryan's over there yawning. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Comment down below what made you guys happy today. We can't wait to see, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. For the latest in Live Happy and It's the Donnelly's merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnelly's.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.